Okay, here I'm going to set up a very basic uh, double-sided sticker in uh, Gerber Amiga to print on the Gerber Edge. Uh, because the Gerber Edge can actually print a good white, uh, we can achieve some really good results doing double-sided stickers onto a clear film. So we just need to think on how we're going to construct the sticker and how it's going to output on the device to make sure we design it properly. So if you sort of think backwards on how we're going to design this, we've got a, a clear, clear vinyl. Then in reverse, we're going to print, if you like, the sticky side of the sticker or what's going to be seen on the adhesive side. We need to print that in reverse. Um, then we print our white in the middle. And then we print our other color on the other side. Now we can do multiple hits of white in the middle to make it more opaque, or we can put grey in the middle of multiple layers of white, but, but for this for this setup we're just going to do something really simple and let's just call it a push-pull sticker. So on one side it reads push, on the other side it reads pull. So first of all let's uh, let's get our text on the screen. So we want push, we want pull, and then we want uh, our sticker, our box. So I'll hit spacebar so we can zoom in a bit on that. Okay, so let's let's say on the on the adhesive side or the back side we want the word push. So we'll shape and we'll mirror that. So that's going to go at the back. Then we're going to I'm just going to lay it up to a sort of imaginary sort of look. And then we're going to have our vinyl in the middle or our white sticker in the middle. And then we're going to have our uh, our pull on the other side. Okay. Alrighty. So let's let's assign some colours. So we'll first we'll we'll get this how we um, get rid of that how we want it to be set up. Now we just get our sticker sort of around the right sort of size, make sure that's sort of about the right size. Okay, so let's make our push at the back. We'll make that, um, let's make that red. So fill bucket, solid, tomato red. Apply. Now, as, as a note here, we can make both sides here and here the same tomato red, blue, whatever. But as you can imagine, if you make this tomato red, the word push, and we made the word pull tomato red, the, 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 the software is not going to differentiate between the two. It's, it's going to try and print them at the same time, and obviously that's not going to work. So, so to fool the software the way I do it anyway, even though I'm going to print the pull in tomato red, I'm going to tell it it's atomic red or something like that. Now, um, this can run into issue because we're telling it we're printing with a different foil, so it might use different fire files, but, but for this, for this exercise, we'll, we'll do it that way. And if we do have any troubleshooting, we can uh, we can work that out later. So, all right. So we make our push at the back, solid tomato red. Okay, and with our pull, like I was just saying, I will make this atomic red. Let's say. Okay. However, when the edge asks us for atomic red, I'm just going to put tomato red in. Okay. And then our block in the middle, we want to make that we want to make that white. Okay, apply. Okay, so press F8, let's have a look. So we've got our push, we've got our square, we've got our pull. Now obviously that's at the back, so we need to go arrange to front. And so you can sort of see our sticker developing. It's gonna print this first, it's gonna print the white over the top, and then it's going to print the, the red, the, the other side, okay? However, we've, we've still got a, a little ways to go to, to set this up properly. Uh, first of all, uh, Amiga users will know green means print and cut. So we don't want to cut any of this out. So we select that, arrange, cuts off. So now we should be all red. So we're all printed. Um, also, too, we now we need to start setting some overprints because it doesn't know that we want to print this white over this red. Uh, I, could, I could go on explaining why, but let's just say we need to tell it we want to print this white over the top of that one. So I put that there in my fill bucket. I go down to my overprint section and I set it to the max to the overprint here. Okay, so now it's going to overprint that white on top of that red. And of course, now we need to do the same with this one. That one there, we need to click on the fill bucket and we need to say overprint. Okay, so what I can do now is check my print order with this one, two, three button. Here, I can see printing tomato red, it's going to ask for white, then atomic red. That's perfect. If I came in here, I'll just move these around, and it looked like this, I would know, well, in my print order, when I send it to, 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 to print, it, it's not going to be right. So we need to click on our print order button just there, and we can click and drag these, these colours here to make sure we're all in the, in the right sort of setting. Okay. Uh, we might also like to tell it that we're going to print onto clear vinyl as well. So we click on, click on our... Um, get rid of that. 
we click on our clear our vinyl selection down here and we look for clear there we go that'll do clear enamel now we need to make sure we select that and then click on our box here that will change that to clear vinyl spacebar to zoom in we can check that on our print order as well it's telling us clear enamel all right so we're on clear got our colors right we've got our overprints you can see here it's telling us we're going to overprint these final two colors okay last but not least we need to somewhere for it to cut out so i'll just i'll manually just draw a box here and this will be my cut line a little bit inside the white so we trap it in we want to cuts on arrange cuts on and in our fill bucket we obviously don't want to fill this anything so we just go none apply okay we've got a black cut line print line outside the cut line our push pull and that's that's basically it we're ready to uh we're ready to print our push pull sticker uh, one last thing you might like to do to, to make things nice and neat arrange justify and we'll center and center okay so let us put everything in the middle of the sticker and that's it we can send that now to our edge print and cut double-sided sticker no worries